Arrow diagrams, sometimes known as perch charts or critical path analysis, is used during action planning to identify the critical path. So the critical path is the chain of activities that sits within the plan. It spans the entire length of the plan from start to finish and determines the overall completion time of the plan. It's called the critical path because it's vital that these activities are delivered on time. Otherwise, the overall completion time of the plan cannot be met. So to put it another way, you do not have any wiggle room with um, activities that are on the critical path. To create the arrow diagram, firstly, we take all the activities and we arrange them in the sequence in which they need to be delivered. Where possible, however, look for opportunities to parallel process activities so that we can compress the overall uh, lead time for the plan. Once we've done that, estimate how long each activity is going to take to complete. Then systematically work through each activity, identifying the earliest time we can start it and the latest time we can start it. Finally, look for those activities that have the same earliest start time as latest start time. These represent the critical path activities and therefore those that we really must ensure are focused upon and delivered on time.